Hello friend, welcome to Civil Engineering Basics. My name is Milan, and please subscribe my channel, Civil Engineering Basics for more interesting videos of civil engineering. Today we are going to talk about the types of rocks or you can say stone. The first question comes in mind is what is rock? What are its uses in construction engineering? Stone or rock is a naturally available building material, which has been used from the early age of civilization to construct a shelter. It is available in the form of rocks, which is cut to required size and shape and used as building block. It has been used to construct small residential buildings to large palaces and temples all over the world. Red Fort, Taj Mahal, and several palaces all over India are the famous stone buildings. Now let's discuss about types of rocks or stone. Stones used for civil engineering works may be classified mainly in the following three category. First is geological classification, second is physical classification, and third is chemical classification. Geological physical, and chemical rocks are further classified into such types of rocks. Let's see this chart given in page. In geological classification, rocks are further classified into, igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. In physical classification, rocks are further classified into, stratified rocks, unstratified rocks and foliated rocks. And in chemical classification, rocks are further classified into agrilaceous rocks, silicious rocks, and calcareous rocks. These are the detailed classification of rocks. Now let us see the geological classification of rocks. Before that, see that the cycle given below is called the rock cycle, by which you can easily understand the types of geological rocks. The rock cycle is continuous process through which old rocks are transformed into new ones. Rocks can be divided into three main groups, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks are formed when magma, molten rock, from the earth's interior cools and solidifies. Sedimentary rocks are formed when sediments becomes compressed and cemented together in a process known as lithification. Metamorphic rocks are formed when igneous, sedimentary or other metamorphic rocks are changed by heat or pressure. Rocks are added to the Earth's surface by crustal movements and volcanic activity. Once exposed on the surface, the rocks are then transported by glaciers, rivers, and wind, and deposited as sediments in lakes, deltas, deserts, and on the ocean floor. Some of this sediment undergo lithification and forms sedimentary rock. This rock may be thrust back to the surface by crustal movements or forced deeper into Earth's interior, where heat and pressure transform it into metamorphic rock. The metamorphic rock in turn may be pushed up to the surface or may be melted to form magma. Eventually, the magma cools and solidifies below or on the surface forming igneous rock. When the sedimentary, igneous and metamorphic rocks are exposed once more on the Earth's surface, the cycle begins again. Now let's discuss the igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are formed by cooling and solidifying of the rock masses, from their molten magmatic condition of the material of the Earth. Generally igneous rocks are strong and durable. Granite, trap and basalt, are the rocks belonging to this category. Granite is formed by slow cooling of the lava under thick cover on the top. Hence they have crystalline surface. The cooling of lava at the top surface of earth results into non-crystalline and glassy texture. Trap and basalt belong to this category. Now let's discuss the sedimentary rocks. Due to weathering action of water, wind and frost existing rocks disintegrates. The disintegrated material is carried by wind and water, the water being most powerful medium. 
flowing water deposits its suspended materials at some points of obstacles to its flow. These deposited layers of materials get consolidated under pressure and by heat. Chemical agents also contribute to the cementing of the deposits. The rocks thus formed are more uniform, fine-grained and compact in their nature. They represent a bedded or stratified structure in general. Sandstones, limestones, mudstones etc. belong to this class of rock. Now let's discuss the metamorphic rocks. Previously formed igneous and sedimentary rocks undergo changes due to metamorphic action of pressure and internal heat. For example due to metamorphic action granite becomes gneisses, trap and basalt change to schist and laterite, limestone changes to marble, sandstone becomes quartzite and mudstone becomes slate. Now let's discuss the stratified rocks which is the classification based on physical classification of rock. These rocks are having layered structure. They possess planes of stratification or cleavage. They can be easily split along these planes. Sandstones, limestones, slate etc. are the examples of this class of stones. Now let's discuss the unstratified rocks which is the classification based on physical classification of rock. These rocks are not stratified. They possess crystalline and compact grains. They cannot be split into thin slab. Granite, trap, marble etc. are the examples of this type of rocks. Now let's discuss the foliated rocks which is the classification based on physical classification of rock. These rocks have a tendency to split along a definite direction only. The direction need not be parallel to each other as in case of stratified rocks. This type of structure is very common in case of metamorphic rocks. Now let's discuss the silicious rocks which is the classification based on chemical classification of rock. The main content of these rocks is silica. They are hard and durable. Examples of such rocks are granite, trap, sandstones etc. You can see the photographs of such rock in here. Now let's discuss the argillaceous rocks which is the classification based on chemical classification of rock. The main constituent of these rocks is argill that is, clay. These stones are hard and durable but they are brittle. They cannot withstand shock. Slates and laterites are examples of this type of rocks, such as slate and laterite. You can see the photographs of such rock in here. Now let's discuss the calcareous rocks which is the classification based on chemical classification of rock. The main constituent of these rocks is calcium carbonate. Limestone is a calcareous rock of sedimentary origin while marble is a calcareous rock of metamorphic origin. You can see the photographs of such rock in here. Now let's discuss the uses of stones which we have seen before. A list of the building stones commonly used along with the classification and characteristics is given below table. First for work of heavy engineering works such as bridge, pier and abutments, breakwater, docks, and lighthouses, retaining walls. Granite is used because of its property of that it is heavy, strong durable and is capable of resisting large thrust. For work of building facing the sea, granite, fine-grained sandstone are used because these are not affected by the weathering action of sand particles blown by air. For the work of arches, fine-grained sandstone are used because it is strong and durable. For the work of building faced work, carved work, and ornamental works and statues, Marble, and closed grain sandstone are used, because these are lightweight, soft and easy to work and have pleasing color and appearance. For road work and concreting work, granite, basalt, and quartzite are used, because of it has high, 
tough and high abrasion resistance. In railway ballast, coarse-grained sandstone and quartzite are used because these are hard and compact. For electrical switchboards, slate and marble is preferred because it has poor conductor of electricity. So, these are the uses of stones for various construction works. Thank you so much for viewing this video. For more video on civil engineering subscribe my channel. Civil Engineering Basics